Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to insert a picture into a Word document. Some students have reached out to me to ask about this week's assignment, the one that's entitled The Cost of Dates. First things first, what I want you to do is make sure you read this text here and complete task one. Then read the following text before you start task two. So task two says, list the name of an important holiday in your culture. You can choose Ramadan if you celebrate it. The task here is draw pictures of different foods you use to celebrate. If you can't draw, insert pictures or write names of foods. So I understand some of you are not able to draw because you don't have that capability on your laptop. If your laptop is touchscreen, you should be able to draw a picture. If it's not, you might want to stick to inserting pictures or just writing the names of foods. Okay, so one holiday that my family and I celebrate is Easter. And so I typed in the word Easter. So I'm going to look for some pictures of Easter on the internet. What I need to do now is open up an internet browser, open up a browser so I can search the internet for different pictures of Easter. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to click on Google Chrome. You can click on Internet Explorer or Mozilla, whatever browser you have, you can use. Okay, so now I'm on a Google page. If you don't land on a Google page, you can type in this address here and it should bring you to the same page. So once you are on this page, you are going to type in the word that you want. I am typing in Easter. You pick whatever holiday you celebrate. Okay. So I have some random things about Easter. I want to find pictures. Okay. So I'm going to click on this icon here that says images. Okay. So I see some pictures that I could use. Um, I like this one here, so I am going to click on it and it appears on the side. In order to save this picture, I'm going to have to right click on it, scroll down to save image as, um, I'm going to send it somewhere that it's easy to find. Let's try my desktop. I have many files on my desktop and I'm going to label it Easter. And then I will hit save. Let's try this again. So I am going to X out of here. I'm going to find another picture I have one with chocolate bunnies. I clicked on that picture. I'm going to right click on the picture, scroll down to save image as, choose a place for the picture to be saved, type a new name, so Easter 2, hit save, and voila. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my Word document. So my Word document is here. And I want to insert the pictures in this box. So here is what I will have to do. You want to, I want to click on the word insert, click on picture, click on this device, Choose file. Now it's going to bring me to this task box. So I need to find where I save my picture. So that's why it's important for you to save it in a place that you can easily find it. As you can see, I have so many files and I don't want to risk saving it anywhere 
and then I'm left scrambling looking for the picture. So I remember that it's on my desktop. So I'm going to click desktop and there are my pictures. So I'm going to insert one. I click on the file, select open, and now I see it says Easter, insert. So now I want to adjust the picture. So it's a little too big, so I'm going to minimize it. It's up to you how you want to do this. And now I want to insert the other picture. So I am going to go back to insert picture, this device, choose file, desktop. I remember that I saved it as Easter 2. Click on that, click open, insert, and I want to adjust this picture so it's not as big. Make it as big or as small as I want it. Okay, now let's say that you don't really want to go through the hassle of opening another browser. You can insert pictures from Bing, from, from Bing. Okay, so all you have to do is go back to picture, go to Bing, and then it gives you a search bar. You're going to type the word that you are looking for or the picture you're looking for, and it gives you pictures this way as well. So I am going to select the picture that I want. I click insert and my picture is here. I'm going to minimize my picture so it's not so big. And if I wanna add more pictures, I put. Okay, so I hope this tutorial helps you as you complete task two. Thank you, have a good one, bye.